Hi guys, it's Summers here and welcome along to my first tutorial of the FIFA 20 game cycle. Now in this particular video we are going to handle the new game faces that have arrived in FIFA 20 as part of a recent update. Now if you're running a current save, those faces aren't available to you. Now what I'm going to do in this video is explain how you can get those faces into your career mode save. And I will stress at this point, this is for PC only, this is something that cannot be done on console, so unfortunately if you are running in a career mode save and you want the new faces on console you will not be able to do that with this particular tutorial. So I think it's quite important to say at this stage that there's a couple of type of uh, updated faces that you can actually get. There's the scanned heads which is the ones that I'm showing you now on screen but there's also the star head style uh, updates as well which means that you get a vast array of players that aren't shown here that you can also add into your career mode save that may be beneficial for your save if you're doing it with a particular club. Vapex Karma has a great video on his channel showing the new scanned faces, link in the description below. But what I'll do after the tutorial is show you a few more of the other faces that you can have added to your save. And there is a link in the description below for a document where I've listed all of the IDs and all of the players that are currently available in terms of updating into your career mode save. But let's get on with the tutorial itself. So one of the main draws for me personally was that I have a career mode save that's a couple of seasons in and I've bought Frank Ribery. Now he doesn't have a game face at the start of the game cycle but a game face has been added uh, for this particular update and now I've been able to add that into my career mode save. Okay, so let's get into the crux of this thing. You'll need to download a program called RDBM20, which is Revolution Database Master 20. I'll leave a description below. And you'll have this piece of software, which enables you to make edits to your career mode save. As you can see, I'm just going to walk you through what to do. So once you've opened it up, you'll need to open your career mode file save. And to make things easier, I would suggest making yourself a new career mode save and then you'll be able to find the latest one that you, you need to open. So you've gone down to the right hand side, you've selected career mode files instead of squad files and you open the top one because that's the latest version that you have just literally saved within FIFA 20. That will then open to this page here and you will need to click on uh, the DB2 list in the top left hand corner. That will then show you a list of all the items within your career mode save that are available for you to make edits to and I will do some more tutorials uh, in regards to those in the future but what we're interested in today is the players section so we click on that then we click on the player ID and we're going to do Ribery as we've already talked about him so we'll put him in, in his ID from the uh, document that I've mentioned that will then bring him up where you see the green highlight and what I like to do here is scroll that to the top of the list in order that you know you're working on that particular item in the uh, spreadsheet and then you want to move across uh, the page here until you come to the section uh, that uh, you're needing to make edits to. Now what you need to remember here is that one is yes and zero is no. So what we want to do is make has high quality head one, i.e. yes, and make head class code zero, which is no. And then that means that you will have the version that you are requiring. All you then need to do is go across to the save button, click save, and the program will do the rest for you. So I'll just load up my save here just to show you how that has actually changed things in terms of the face that is available on Frank Ribery. So obviously you can go through and add as many or as few of those faces as you would like into your career mode save. So I hope that tutorial has been of assistance to you and if it has don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel for more tutorials in the future. And I'm going to leave you now with a comparison of the new and old star heads that are also available. 